on the road again. We are waving goodbye to Apia and Samoa. Oh, we're rolling. Stuff's rolling. Ah, nightfish! Our first ever nightfish. <laughs> this is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. After a week in Samoa of catching up on boat projects and almost adopting a baby pig, the ocean was calling again, and it was time to set off on our next sail, which would be a cool 250 miles to the oh-so-French and mostly unknown South Pacific island of Wallace. But not before sprucing Sylvia up with a bit of color from our newest additions to the crew. It's a happy day, adding some flags, but I gotta tell you, it's actually a sad day as well. The little ocean, as you guys know, um, she hurt herself and she got her uh, arm checked twice with us, uh, both in Niue and then again in uh, Tonga. Both of them said that they thought she was okay with a fracture, but it just wasn't healing right. So as you know, she uh, flew over to Australia and when they checked it, they uh, said that they thought she was okay and they put a cast on her. Well, a couple days later, a um, specialist actually looked at that and said, no, you've got some torn ligaments. So she thought it would be best to head back to, uh, to France and get it handled there, which is uh, super sad because we came up to Samoa hoping she was going to be rejoining us from Australia. We thought she was going to be wearing a cast for a couple weeks. And um, so I just got the message the other day letting us know that she's heading back to France. And um, it's really sad. Yeah, really like just kind of heartbreaking really that I'm okay with like crew coming and going, but I never thought I would have a crew like that wanted to stay that had to go. And so, Oshion, when I, I hope to see you again, girl. I hope you make your way back out to us once you're healed up. And we're sending you love from the ocean. So we're going to take this down yeah. and we're going to write all over to it. Yeah. And we're going to send it, this to her in the mail so she has little love things. And um, send some love in the comments. Let her know how much uh, she inspired you or just let her know that uh, you hope to see her again because we certainly do. But with that said, we've got three new crew. Uh, Emily was so nice that she brought some Basque flags, which are not the easiest to get a hold of. <laughs> and that uh, got for us as well. Tell me a fact or something I need to know about the Basque country. Nobody knows. The women are one of the most beautiful women in Europe and also it's a matriarchal society, like a motherline based. So we are we have a lot of character, we are a really strong woman. So be careful. Give us a fact about Canada that nobody knows. Hmm, that nobody knows. Nobody uh, how, knows. how could I know if nobody knows? Well that most people don't know. Oh, 99% of the population live 100 kilometers away from the border. The South border. Did you know that? I think I did, but that is not because I'm U.S. And there are neighbors to the north, and we hug them. They want to get close to us. We want to get close to them. It's cool. We love Canada. Yeah. Yee! All right, here we go. What's happening? We're leaving. So this is your first sailing trip. It is. Are you With excited? Yeah. Super excited. Super rolly at the moment. <laughs> I've sailed before, but I was on the liveaboard, so I was not taking care of anything. Not that I'm taking care of something right now, but. <laughs> I 
How's the uh, no, conditions, Chloe? Uh, good. We're going six knots, which is pretty good. We had the main sail out before and then we were like nine knots, but I think we didn't really stay on course, so we put the main in and yeah, we're back on course again and it's going pretty well. How many miles are you traveling to Wallace? Uh, it's 260 miles. Last sail. <laughs> By the time we got to Samoa, we all thought we were there. <laughs> all of a sudden I saw Nate sitting there staring out of the window. <laughs> he looked a bit defeated because <laughs> <laughs> the estimation we did wasn't quite right. And so when I heard Chloe asking him how long it would take um, on this sale, he said five days. And what he said before to Chloe was one and a half days. So Chloe didn't really get it. It's like, I'm saying five days and whatever is less than five days, you can just be happy with. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, on the road again. We are waving goodbye to Apia and Samoa. It looks really beautiful on the horizon. It looks like um, the way the clouds are, they kind of follow the contour of the topography of the island. And it reminds me of um, when you were a kid and you take empty bottles and you would fill them with different colored sand and you would see different layers of, of sand, different colors and it would make these really cool patterns. And that's what the sky looks like right now over Samoa. Yeah, we're back at it again. Got a couple days on the water ahead of us, which is always nice. And it looks to be hopefully great conditions. We'll just be cruising along downwind the whole way. Sylvia's back in action. Let's go. What would you describe as the main differences between cooking while we're sailing versus cooking normally? You have to be very strategic, but like you can't just like walk away. Your cooking partner, you really have to like tag each other in and make sure the other one's holding the fort down while you go get an item out of the fridge or something, because it's rolling and maybe something will like fall on the ground and then you got to start all over. So a lot of communication goes on. Yeah. Yeah. That and we typically don't eat together when we're sailing. Just somebody's sleeping, somebody's doing something. So that kind of plays into it. Can't shame you for when you made a shitty meal because yeah. they don't know yet. They don't know. <laughs> you don't have to face them and yeah. watch them eat it. You can just leave it on the stove and yeah. they wake up in the middle of the night and they're like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Here's your slap. Yeah. Who's your favorite cooking partner? Ooh. Ooh. We won't let the other crew see this thing. I have some good ones. I think me and Brett busted some good things out. Me and Lindsay did some magic together a couple times. Me and Lindsay were very efficient. <laughs> it's Chloe. There we go. She's, that was she's her the way one running around her. with a knife in her hand right now, so it's Chloe. Hey, Will. What do you want? <laughs> you can't steal Lindsay's line. What do you want? What, uh, who's your favorite cooking partner? I don't want to say that I have a favorite cooking partner. It's not nice. I want to create some drama. Um, honestly, the one that is keen with whatever, if it's my cooking day, I want to pick what I eat. Yeah. So whoever doesn't so interfere Lindsay, with that. Hey, I tour. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? There is for the seasick. No, I feel really good. Yeah. I feel part of the ocean. Of all the people that have worn these glasses, you look the craziest in them. Yes, this I'm world not sure will be why. this world will be amazing. Yeah. And the that you are hiding to. Damn. we got the peppers, we got the onions, we got the garlic and the beans. How did you decide on the best uh, serving strategy? Yeah, normally we put all the dishes on the table and everybody can just take it. But since it's very rolly and it looks like we found a little place there, I think it's easier to keep it there and the people can just take their bowl and go from there to there and hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> That's our Kari Kari Kataya fire. It's the gift that keeps on giving. 
This is for real pros. This expert is for level uh, hot expert sauce. level taco eater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not for Chloe. Not for me. Not for Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're rolling. Stuff's rolling. Oh, salsa. Salsa. Do you want this? Nightfish! Our first ever nightfish. What's your prediction? What kind of fish are you doing? I'm going with Mahi Mahi again. Yeah. What's your plan? I'm gonna pull it up on the rollers and I'm gonna give it a poke. Oh man, look at the swell on the back. We won't be able to see it on the camera, but we're surfing waves right now. Woohoo! Are you gonna get dick sopped by this fish? I like hope not. Ah, we're right the dick. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Where was that an hour ago for the tacos? <laughs> Just woke up for my shift, I think it's about 9.30. We got about 15, 20 knots from behind and this really annoying side swell. Sophia's just rocking side to side. <laughs> but it's all a bit of fun. So tonight we're running in our new crew member, Emily. She's probably learning in one of the more tougher situations. It's pitch black so you can't see a thing and we're just rolling side to side trying to go downwind so she's working trying to hold her course so we're just getting her warmed up on the wheel so then we can try and jibe yeah she's got the stance the stance is key on Sophia it's all I... about the legs what do you think about foot placement foot placement's looking pretty good she's definitely found that you gotta prop this the right foot up against the side of the chair yeah and then she's got her left foot right up next to the drawers so I'd rate the I'd rate the stance at a ten out of ten. I'm very impressed for a first timer. <laughs> Are you feeling tonight good? I'm feeling good. I took a little nap when we first when we first left. Yeah. And I'm energized, ready to ready to take on the night after our last sail of just beating into it. I'm, I can handle a bit of rolling, you know. Not nothing but us and the sound of the dishes rolling around in the cabinets <laughs> and the All sound the of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like the boat is like such a mess, but it's actually really clean and it's just the way that our dishes are, like the way that the drawers are. We need, I don't know, one day we'll figure out the solution, but it's just... Oh man, I've gone crazy at nights trying to figure out solutions to that. Uh -huh. Jordan's my new favorite sailing shift partner. <laughs> what do you got going We've got a little midnight snack on the go here. We decided to make some popcorn, which... We bought so much popcorn in New Zealand, so it's one of my favorite snacks, and I kind of, I don't know, I just like forgot about it, and then today, for some reason, I was trying to think of a perfect savory snack. Woo! Here it goes! Woo! Can you see it? Ah, uh, you can see it. Yeah! Pressure cooker popcorn, I don't know if that's standard operation or not, but... Speed cooker. Yeah. Buttery, creamy. Everything. Everything you want for in a midnight snack. Okay, open your mouth, Rip. You ready? Ready. In the dark. Okay, dark rolling boat. And go. Oh, that's pretty close. Hit the beard. <laughs> Got me the beard's, a, the beard's a pretty big target, though, to be fair. Okay, one more. Ready? Last oh, one. Awesome. And. Oh. <laughs> 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 Join us next time as our sail to Wallace continues. We lose our GPS and our minds before arriving to a magical French land of croissants and crystal clear water. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it started. Boom, boom, boom. I think I'm mixing two songs though. <laughs> Don't be insecure. Don't be insecure. Flap those feathers, girl. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. Don't be insecure.
check, check, check. How's it sounding? How's it sounding? Check, check, check. Like your shirt? Yeah. Expedition drenched. Yeah. Shirts. Yeah. It'd be cool if you could like buy them somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this logo is kind of like our other logo that might have been. It's more manly. It's more muscly. Yeah. What do you guys think of it? It's pretty good. I think we should put it for sale. Maybe it'll be for sale by the time the video comes out. Maybe you click this link right here and buy one. I don't want them to have one. This is limited edition Nate's. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have that. Okay, you can have it. Okay, you can have Put it. Whatever she said over there. Yeah. yeah.